got a little bit of breaking news. Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, uh, for all the marbles, uh, heavyweight world title has been rescheduled. We have a date already, May the 18th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. That has come from Turkey Al Sheikh. He has, uh, has just announced that. I believe he's actually on uh, the Ariel Helwani show as we speak right now. Uh, so May the 18th, that seems really, really close to where we're at right now, given the magnitude of that cut. Absolutely, but I'll tell you one thing that it does do, though. It keeps Tyson Fury's career alive, and I'll tell you why it keeps Fury's career alive, because he's got a date to focus on, and that's the big problem with Tyson Fury. When he's got no focus, no direction in life, that's when he struggles, you know, not just physically, but mentally. And I think that him having that date... We'll do him good because it'll keep him on track. And then look, it's all down to, you know, how that cut heals, when it heals, whether he can get the right preparation in. And when he does get that right preparation in, hence sparring, whether it holds up. But look, at least he's got the date and yeah. something to focus on. Listen, my initial reaction to that, great that we've got a date, great that we're straight back in the, in the mix of it all. May the 18th does seem very, very close to where we're at right now. That's a nasty cut that we saw the, from the pictures and the video. That's going to take a little bit of healing. Big fight like we're talking about, you're going to need a proper camp, some proper sparring, some proper work. Listen, I hope I hope that we get it on May the 18th. Like you say, it gives us all the focus, it gives us all a little bit of a pick-me-up after the disappointment of yesterday. It just feels a little bit tight, that day. Listen, that date's really convenient that they've announced the date so so soon to it being like the, the, the date Corners. being devastated. Everybody's upset and infuriated, infuriated. And, and deflated that this um, undisputed heavyweight title fight is not happening. So what do they do? They come out of a date, May, what was it, May 18th. Yeah. Take that with a pinch of salt. They're giving us something to think about, they're giving us something to talk about and to keep the dream alive and keep all the fans intrigued. That date is something that's been plucked out of the air and I think we're being paid lip service because you can't say May 18th because you don't know what Fury is going to be doing now for the next two months and how that eye's going to heal. It's nice that they've got a date and they've put it in there and they still want it to happen, but... To be honest, I don't get excited when I hear that. Do you, do, you, do you not think, though, that you know that, that could give Tyson Fury focus? And I think that's the main objective behind this, giving him a date so soon. I'm with you, Cole. You know, maybe that is too it, soon. It perhaps also deflects the possibility of Usyk going elsewhere. You know, he's got a date in there, so maybe the temptation of going and fighting Hervic or something or, or going in another direction is, uh, is taken away. I think he needs to have a meaningful fight. I think February the 17th is still going ahead, though, and I do think Alexander Usyk headlines that fight. So I think that I do. I do think. Do you think? Oh, absolutely. Why I risk be, it? I believe if you've got a date of May the 18th. We, we, I mean, we saw this with Tyson, didn't we? He told us that after Ngannou, I'm already going to fight December the 23rd, and it didn't materialise because of what happened in the Ngannou situation. So why would he risk it? Why would he? would because he's in shape, and he'll believe that he can beat any heavyweight in the world, and he'll go. Listen, that date is great. I don't know if that fight is ever going to materialise from Tyson. Fury because you've got to look at the cut and how bad that is and you know and there's a lot of you know ifs buts and maybes whether that date happens on the 18th so why would he risk the 17th on the fact that on the basis that the 18th may never happen anyway unless unless he's getting paid handsomely for this this fight in Feb 17th and he can fight a nobody if you like like a, a journeyman type fight someone who's ranked maybe just outside the top 10 and, and still get paid good money then I think what Usyk will do, he'll fight a meaningful name. I think he'll take on a Hergovic because he's serious about the game and he's 37 years old. He's not going to have a tick over fight or warm-up fight. I know the mindset. I lost to Andre Ward. I was offered an easy fight to, to make my, my fight back on UK soil and I took on, I took on Lucian Butte mm -hmm. because for me, I needed a title fight. I needed to be back in the mix. And I think Usyk's of that same warrior Spartan mindset. He's going to want to fight someone like Hergovic. Is, is he IBF or... Is he the IBF champ? Was he IBF, the IBF one? mandatory, Number yeah. one. So yeah. this is a big fight and a meaningful fight for Usyk. They'll be confident he can win, and it keeps him in there then. And if the if, if Fury decides to retire between now and this this phantom date that's just been announced, then at least he's in the prime spot on the hot seat. I, I, like I say, I take that date with a pinch of salt, and I think Usyk needs to stay busy with in, in meaningful fights because he's, he's, he's toward the end of his career. At 37 years old, as fresh as I think he is, he's still, his mind is still going to be focusing on maximising the income and, and going out on the crest of a wave at the end of his career. He don't need to take stupid fights, but he can't take he can't take journeyman fights now Co at 37. Cobra, Cobra, do you believe that that's a realistic date, February the 17th, 
Usyk versus Philip Hergovic. I don't I think, think Hergovic is ready for him in no, two but, weeks' time. No, notice. Hergovic come out today and said, I'm ready, let's do it, I'm yeah, ready gonna, to go. Of course he is, he's going to get paid. But I don't yeah, think but, he'll be physically ready. He might yeah, say so he's the fight ready. does happen, that's what right, I'm saying. The fight could happen, and I think it'll be a great fight for Usyk because it's a good name for him, and I think... He is far superior to Hergovic. Hergovic is a good fighter, don't get me wrong, and he's, he's a big, strong heavyweight. We've seen him fight, we know his capabilities, but he's not, he's not Usyk level.